We're here today to go over Patrick Mahomes' five touchdown passes and his come from behind victory over the Texans. Today, we're going to be going over Damian Williams' 17 yard touchdown pass. And hopefully, later on, we'll be going over Kelsey's three touchdown passes and Blake Bell's eight yard touchdown pass. We'll go ahead and start with Damian Williams' touchdown pass. And the first thing we notice is he lines up as an outside wide receiver before moving towards the running back position. Mahomes makes a few checks. Williams runs a wheel route. Mahomes places it perfectly in his back pocket, and the Chiefs score a touchdown. What happened there? And to understand that, we need to understand the coverage that the Houston Texans are in. And Romeo Cannell, as many Chiefs fans know, typically likes to run a 3-4 style of defense. Now, with the personnel that they have on, it's technically not a true 3-4 here. They're in a 3-3-5 personnel, which means you have five DBs, three linebackers, and three down linemen on the field at one time. And we can see that the coverage that they're in here, it's a cover one. If you'll watch the last video, you kind of understand what a cover one is, but I'll rehash it here for you as well. Almost everybody's in a man coverage, so everyone's following their man across the board here. And then you have one or two players that are in a zone style of coverage. And that zone is your single high safety in the back, going to be making sure nobody crosses the goal line here. They can attack depending on which wide receivers run down the field. Depends on which way he goes. And then one of your linebackers here will be drifting into a basically a hole coverage here, which helps prevent any crossing routes, just covering this zone. Well, the other one will be covering Damian Williams. And that coverage really just depends on which way Williams comes out of the backfield. If he comes out of the backfield to the left side, you have this linebacker to cover him here. If he comes out the right side, you have this linebacker to cover him here. This is actually technically a linebacker as well. And really, your outside linebackers here really just depend on the coverage as well. Either one of these can be covering the running back out of the backfield too. It really is the goal of the 3-4 defense is to, not like Spagnola's coverage, where he uses player motion and pre-snap motion and, and player formation to disguise which coverage that he's doing. Instead, the 3-4, its main concept is to disguise who's in the coverage by lining up in the same alignment almost every time. Really, either one of these players can be dropping back into the zone, covering Williams, depending on what he does, or blitzing. And the same for these two over here. And we can see that by what the Texans actually do here. So Williams, as we know, is going to run to the left side. So this player here is actually first going to be chipping Kelsey, which they like to do early on in that game. And then following Williams, you've got two, an outside linebacker and a regular linebacker, blitz, both blitzing here. And Zach Cunningham over here, drifting back into that whole coverage. Basically, I also think he's allowed to kind of freelance to go where he feels the play is designed to go. Well, what did the Chiefs do to break this coverage? These are the routes that they're running. We already know Williams is running that wheel route. You have two wide receivers on the outside, both running a go or a fly route just straight down the field, almost to the corner of the end zone. They're both really just distractions to pull their DBs away from the action, away from the play. And something I want you to know, notice as well, this free safety is already looking at Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill's speed is so impressive that most safeties are going to kind of drift to his side. And it's another part of this play call that's absolutely beautiful. They line up Tyreek Hill on an island by himself. Everyone else is going to be coming over this way or is lined up over this way, which means that you don't want to leave Tyreek Hill one-on-one. -on -one. He will burn you down the field on a go route. So the safety is naturally going to drift to their left, the formation's right. Over here we have, and I believe that 
Kelsey's running kind of a slant play here. It's very hard to determine because he's met at the line by two or three different players trying to hold and, and push him and disrupt his route across the field. And then you've got your slot wide receiver. I believe that's Robinson running a drag route across the field as well. How does that align with the coverage? Well, the coverage aligns, and it's going to get a little bit crazy here. And when there's that much congestion, when I'm drawing it out, you know the play call is a very, very good play call. What Andy Reid likes to do is he likes to open up his receivers with natural congestion via the other players running into the, each other and all that on natural routes. Not technically pick plays, but just naturally their routes take them into one another. So these two players are out of this play for Williams here. They're too far down the field. Their heads are going to be turned. You've got your safety already cheating and going to be cheating more towards Tyree Kill's side because of his speed. So that just leaves the players that are blitzing down here. And really, this would have worked with anybody blitzing. But since this is the way it happened, we'll go over that way. So Cannonham's going to drift back into his foxhole and actually immediately diagnose the play and start moving towards... Damian Williams there. The problem is, is that with the route concepts and with the Chiefs speed, there's just no way to be fast enough to get through all of that and around the play to stop it. If the Chiefs didn't have as much speed, if Damian Williams wasn't as fast, you know, it might have been down at the five, down at the three instead of a touchdown. A good read by him here, but the Chiefs are just too fast. With this congestion, you're going to have this DB here getting caught up really in what happens here. Now you have, again, they're chipping Travis Kelsey. And Andy Reid looked at that and said, okay, well, we're going to use that against you. So the person that's in coverage on Williams is chipping and then going to have to work his way around both this DB and this DB to get to him. Kelsey's going to come across, also kind of cutting off that DB from here, and it's kind of fun to watch. And you notice this congestion is also all three of the DBs almost running into each other. There's an instance where it's one wide receiver for the Chiefs running into that, but you can't call a pick play if it's the opposing players running into each other. So an excellent play call, and we'll watch it kind of unfold here and freeze at a, a few different moments. We start with the adjustments that we naturally see. Again, they kind of jump back up into their two outside linebacker spots. Mahomes basically says we're good if that's what the play call was. I believe it was to begin. And hikes the ball. When we see immediately off the line, I'm going to pause it here for you. Look at the attention Travis Kelsey's getting. And he may be eyeing Damian Williams here, Zach Cunningham here. But I think he's kind of looking at Kelsey and working his way to Williams as well. Terry Kills breaking down the field. You can see the safety already starting to cheat over to the right. Michael Hardman on the other side, crossing down the field and running a drag route across there. So we'll kind of see as that congestion occurs where it happens. Now that drag route, that's a natural route again that's being taken here, blocking who's going to be covering Williams. The person that's actually covering the drag route is now blocked by Kelsey and the two people that were on Kelsey and Zach Cunningham trying to make a play. So really, you're going to have two different wide receivers open up here. And I'll show that. It's also the anticipation. Williams hasn't even turned around yet. I paused it a little late, but Williams hasn't even turned around yet. And Mahomes is already throwing it, knowing and trusting what his wide receivers will do. And you actually see your drag route here wide open as well. And all these players were already moving that way before Mahomes had thrown the ball, so they weren't reading him. Your safety's seeing what's going on. It's too late. And it's an easy back pocket catch. And going in for the touchdown. Chief speed and Andy Reid's play calling is out of this world.